And here comes the wormhole wider rider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're you're yeah. recording now. Yeah, right? we are. Okay. Yep. All right. Perfect. So I'm here with Paul and Jeff from Legion yep. M to kind of talk about what they've been doing in the past since we slept. first talked talk with Paul last. Was it April in Phoenix? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And a then, nice cool April yeah, day nice in cool, Phoenix. Right? Yeah. Only 117 yeah. degrees <laughs> with your waiting pool outside. Was it April? Yeah, I think it was. It, it was, was April May. or May, yeah. somewhere yeah. around there, about this time warm. of year. Yeah. Yeah. And we all spoke last year with Jeff at um, oh, Stanley's Los Angeles Comic Con. Yes. That was October. I Correct. That, that was October. Yeah. Halloween. Yes. Halloween weekend. That's so right. now we're here with them once again, both of them together for the first time. Can I talk about what's been happening since we last spoke with them? Take it sure. away, gentlemen. Absolutely. So, well, um, we we oversubscribed our first round um, and uh, and finished as one of the top title threes in the com in the country, uh, which we're excited about. We've opened a new round uh, and we've also announced four projects. So I mean, if we look back a year ago um, and had given you a forecast of what we thought we would do in the next year, we've far exceeded yeah. what we what Our we wildest probably would have, dreams, I yeah. think what we thought that we could have achieved in this past year so yeah so it's it's been great and we're um you know one of the most exciting things that that we've done is uh we've gotten involved in colossal uh which is in theaters now it's an amazing movie it's got it's starring Roar. Anne Hathaway and this guy and Jason Sudeikis <laughs> and Dan Stevens who's been Dan everywhere. Stevens, yeah. who's Stevens who's been everywhere. killing it right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. 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 playing um, Legion, which yes. is kind of yep. funny. Yeah, yes. I love him in that. Yeah, yes. and, and really the Beast good. and Beauty and the Beast. Yep. Yes. and now he's in Colossal yes. as well. Exactly. Yeah, so he's everywhere it seems. Yeah. Yeah. we're huge Dan Stevens fans. <laughs> we take a lot of credit for that. Yeah, I think it was <laughs> mostly us probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you think he's we, written us a couple Legion, of nice thank you, you know, notes. Legion M yeah. and uh, Colossal. So. Just, yeah. just coincidence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so we did Colossal, uh, which is that a, a feature film that's in theaters now. We did a uh, Stan Lee uh, virtual reality project. And did we talk about that? We did at, okay. at Los Angeles last year. And uh, we did the Pitch Elevator project, which, right. you, you know, that's what we were doing at the time. And so that program has been incredibly successful. We got about 200 pitches in the elevator back last time we spoke. Nice. We got about another 200 more online. And we're in the process now of going through the contest part of it and winnowing it down. And the reason it's taking so long is because we have a number of partners that are interested in creating a show around this, a television or a web series around it. Okay. And so, you know. Which would be fantastic. Would be fantastic. Kind of like Imagine a taking butt. that on yeah. the Yeah, or like a Shark Tank for movie ideas or an American Idol for movie ideas. Yeah. Yeah. There's a number of different ways that you can spin it, but the fact is we've got... Uh, a lot of interest there, which is cool. And you take it on the road. So you go out and you go to different cons and, right. you know, you have this presence and you get even more pitches and you let people vote on it. And it's a, you know, it, it can take on a life of its own. Now, how did the um, partnership with the Col Coming Beyond Colossal come about? So um, that's a good question. So uh, Neon, which, uh, which is a distributor that bought the rights to Colossal for North America is headed up by two guys, Tom Quinn and uh, Tim League, and um, both of whom are, are advisors to Legion M. Tim originally, and Tim's also the founder of Dra uh, Alamo Draft House and Draft House Films. Okay, which has uh, been with you guys since almost the beginning. Since the very yes. beginning, yeah. And so uh, those guys were going out to Toronto to look for movies for their new distribution company. And they're, they're very well regarded and they're very well funded as well. Um, and we, we called them up and said, hey, when you're out there, you know, we want you to think about us. And if there's a movie we could, we could go in on together, you know, give us a call or think about us. And um, that's exactly what they did. They, you know, they came across Colossal. They bought it at Toronto with us in mind. And, uh, you know, the, the rest is history. And then it got its wide release, I believe, this weekend, correct? Yeah, well, it's been staging up. It's okay. been platforming up. So it started in uh, New York and L.A. Right. Um, and with the Legion's help and all the great publicity that the movie is, is getting and deserving anyway for being such a great breakthrough movie, um, it finished in that first opening weekend, literally at the top of the box office in, a, in like a... The very per, high per screen, per screen, okay, right. per screen revenue. Because it was two screens, I think, 137,000? Four, yeah. four screens. Okay. Four screens. It was 127 or 131 yeah. or something. It yeah. was a $30,000 average. 31000 average, which was really high. The next right. number two film was like 19000 Yeah. So um, that helped it get even more 
buzz and publicity. We helped them sell out the 800-person uh, Cinerama Dome in L.A., nice. uh, which was really fun. And we had a huge Legion audience there. <laughs> so when Nacho came up on stage and talked about Legion M, it, the whole place went berserk. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so then it, then it went into more markets the following weekend, and then this weekend uh, it's even further out. I think it's in about 220, 220 markets. 220, yeah. uh, so But it'll keep wider. expanding. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll like, get wider. And it's, it's, that's one of the interesting things uh, is um, for a film like this, the better it does, the more theaters it gets to. And so that's why yeah. we're working so hard to try and get people, uh, get the word out there so people know about it so that it'll get into even more theaters. Yeah, this weekend alone we probably have, you know, 20 different meetups around the country right. where people are getting together to go see the movie, um, which is also, it's not just good for the movie, it's also a really cool experience. Like tonight we're going to meet up, we'll probably have, you know, 40 or 50 people in San Jose that come over from the, the con and we all meet up and we have a drink and then we go see the movie together. Right. And, you know, we did that last night in San Francisco at the Alamo Draft House. Actually, there were three screenings and we had, you know, over the course of the night, we probably had 100 people come and go see the movies and join us for and meet other members. And it's just a lot of fun to do it that way. And what other projects do you guys have coming up, if you can talk about them? Well, we have one other project that I don't think we've mentioned is uh, Field Guide to Evil, which is a horror movie that we've got coming out where Legion M will be the executive producer. Uh, it doesn't come out till 2018, but uh, we partnered with Tim League and Ant Timpson. Uh, they're the team behind ABC's A Death. Uh, and again, it's a, it's a horror film, but it's a, it's a uh, horror anthology. So okay. it's uh, eight segments. Eight segments um, of dark mythology that come from all parts of the globe. Um, so Tim being one of the founders of Fantastic Fest and Ann Timpson being kind of, um, you know, a really strong voice in the horror community. With their help, we've identified uh, eight of the kind of visionary new voices in horror okay. that, we, uh, that we like to join in and to create a segment about mythology or folklore from their part of the world that we can weave together into this global horror anthology. And so we're, it's, a, it's a relatively low budget, um, and we're excited about it because it's, you know, horror is a genre that we want to be in, and we also want to give these up-and-coming voices an opportunity to, to do something cool. And when is that movie supposed to... I know you said 2018. Is there any narrow it down? I, or I don't think there's a release date. They're, they're, they're writing it now, and they'll be shooting it this year. Okay. So this is this is a fun project for us to get involved in the in the ground floor, with, yep. you know, uh, especially in an Ants and Tim project. And we're working really closely with them because, you know, just like with Colossal, we have an opportunity to get out and have the Legion go out and see it in theaters. With this movie, we're getting involved early enough that we can involve the community in the production you know, and there'll be some points in time where we can, you know, get on the phone with or get on a like we call them shindigs, a video call with the director, talk to him about how things are going. And uh, over the next year, the people that are in the Legion that want to kind of follow along can follow along, you know, um, as the movie makes its way toward its release date. And has anybody been signed to on the movie yet? Has anybody been signed to either act, write, or direct? I well, know you the, said you were, yeah, the, they were writing it. The directors it. have. Oh, okay. No, they, no, we're not writing it. Sorry, so. sorry, I meant you have people writing it. Yeah, well, yeah, sorry. So, so, so the way that it works is um, they selected eight up and award-winning up-and-coming directors from around the world. Okay. So one of them's from the U.S., there's one from India, I think there's like yep. Argentina and Sweden and, yep. and so forth. And so each one of them is writing their own writing and directing okay. and casting their own segment. These so it'll be kind of like Grindhouse segments. a few years back. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Quentin, yeah. Uh, one from Quentin and one from Rodriguez. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. it's kind of two different stories that are have nothing to do with each other, but... Yes. Are, well, they are, they're linked in that they're, they're all representing mythology or folklore okay. from that from the part of the country that that director part of the world. is from. Part of the world, yeah. okay. Part of the world, yeah, exactly. Cool. And then I know you mentioned the Stan Lee thing. Do you have any other ones coming up along the same lines of the Stan Lee VR thing? Uh, we're working on it. We're working okay. hard on it as we speak. You <laughs> yeah. know, that, that project is interesting because we captured it in this extremely high fidelity 
that um, is not honestly like you can't even watch the full resolution today because there's not um, the technology out the there. The technology doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. So to give you an idea, we captured it the at 75 pixels per degree of viewing angle. Okay. And we did that because that's literally that's the the threshold of human perception. Meaning that if you have 76 pixels per uh, degree your eye can't perceive the difference, ah. right? So, like, <laughs> yeah. that's the limit. Um, and it's not quite that hard because yeah. it all depends on your biology. <laughs> Some and people can see better. Your eyesight. Yeah. And, and anyway, but... If so, you have bionic eyes, that's, that's a That's true. Story. But so, uh, so 75 pixels per degree, that's about where we are. Uh, an Oculus headset, a state-of-the-art headset, is, I think, 8 or maybe 10 yeah. pixels. So we're, we're about 7 or 8, you know, over... Sorry. Over seven times higher resolution than the best VR headset. And if you look at like movie projection, which is the other way that you could, we could mm -hmm. really show it, um, IMAX is 4K. Right. And we shot it in 8K. So okay. it's like twice as big as yeah. IMAX. Like so, so anyway, so the bottom line is like we captured it in a way so that it'll be valuable over time. And we're looking now, we might release a small segment of it. Um, we've discussed a lot of possible ways that we might help kind of get the word out now, even if we don't, if we keep the interview itself as an hour and a half long, right? which is really long to watch in VR using right. today's technology yeah. also. So I think what we might do is find a little segment that we can release. But yeah. And we're also working to get other icons on board so that we can shoot additional episodes. Yeah, the goal with icons is now that we've kind of shot the pilot, we've outlined the technology and the approach and, you know, how to address this is to bring on a partner then to kind of do multiple. Right. The goal isn't just to shoot Stan and Kevin, it was it's to shoot, you know, a library of icons. And do you have any other ones that you can mention? Uh, no one that we've announced. We've okay. had multiple <laughs> discussions. There are a lot of people that want to do them. Right. Um, so that's the good news is that, you know, we know that there are other icons willing to do it. Now we just want to, you know, because for Legion M, it's important that we spread our risk. So we don't want to be all in on icons. Right. right? Um, and then not be able to do Colossal or other things. Right. So kind of spread we, out. We get the kind of starter do. incubation kind of funding going, get that to a point and then bring in a finance partner to help with it. And lastly, what can you tell us about what's in the future for Legion M? Well, we've got the round open uh, right now and um, we're having, actually, we're having some amazing discussions with multiple other partners like Neons of uh, the world. Some of them, um, you know, many of them actually with amazing track records, like literally the top of the class when it comes to independent film. So we haven't made any announcements yet, um, and I don't want to, okay. <laughs> you know, tip our, our hand, but we've, we've got some cool stuff in the works. We also have some really cool events planned uh, for Comic-Con. Oh, yeah. I was about to ask in, what's in, coming in, up con uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Okay. So uh, some stuff that we're going to be doing at the show, some stuff that we might be doing just before the show, and so... Uh, a lot of really cool stuff, but yeah, those four projects are the four that we've announced. Okay. Yeah. And other than San Diego Comic Con, where can our viewers see you guys in person? That's a good question. Yeah. You know, we, we there's so many Comic Cons yeah. now, and we love <laughs> going. To, yeah, <laughs> exactly. We love going to do panels. We just did a panel here at Silicon yep. Valley Comic Con. Um, and so uh, I don't know that we've announced anything yeah, I don't know that anymore we anything that we're going to be at, but yeah. honestly, like we're looking at all of them, and okay. it just depends on. It's very expensive for us to tr to set up booths and that right. sort of stuff. But yeah. what we like to do are we like to do local meetups. We like to come in and do a panel and all that sort of stuff. So yep. hopefully we'll be able to hit, I don't know, maybe eight or ten of them this yep. year where we can come in and do a meetup and do a panel. And Yeah. And we're also looking at uh, doing more film festivals as well. Yes. And okay. having a presence yeah. at, at those events. Cool. And anything, any last words you want to say to our viewers? Um, no. The only other thing is, you know, there's a round open now. Um there's no requirement to invest, so if anyone is interested in this and you want to come along and join our community, uh, you can join without investing and kind of check it out and see if you, you know, if you're interested. Um, you can go to thelegionm.com is where where you'd find all of our background and what. There's more detail on every project, um, and then yeah, if you're if you're interested, then you know we're happy to to for you to make an investment. Yeah, you can be a part of it. I mean, it's uh, it's really like Paul, like we said at the beginning, like it's exceeded our wildest expectations. Yeah. And 
the whole premise of Legion M is, as you know, it's the M with the bar over it, which is the Roman numeral for a million. Our right. long-term goal is to have a million fans. And yep. we're not there yet. We're just like no. on the first couple no. steps of it. But the first couple steps have gone so amazingly well and have really been able to showcase the power of this vision that uh, like we feel like we're, you know, we're, we're really excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, we'd love for your, you guys to be a part of it. Yep. Thank you once again, Paul and Jeff. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Take care. Um, all right. Roman.